Okay, so here we are at Tesco's. I don't know if you guys remember George from the other day. We sat down and had a really motivational conversation. Because, you know, this, this might be a better way. How can you turn a meat eater into someone who's vegan, who's never done it before and has no idea what he's doing? A lot of you guys loved him and wanted to see more. So we're at the Tesco's, we're gonna take him through, get him some vegan options to choose from, and we're gonna go meet him now. Let's do it. Hey bud, how you going mate? Good yeah, to see you. Too, you got good responses, dude. What we'll do is grab a trolley. Gonna enlighten you to the vegan sections. But we're going to try to navigate it around your budget as well. No, that's all right. No, no, I'm, I'm shout this one. This know, it because this one's going to be like I'm going to grab a, a few different things for you. Okay. So then we can um, if we've got a few different things, like then you can just go. Okay, I'll prefer that one. You can look at the price, look how much you get. All right, I'm just like, looking at these ones. Sometimes it's good just to know 100%. Yeah, go ahead. It just says may contain egg soya, but it doesn't say contains eggs. It just says contains wheat. Okay. So that's a little trick as well. Like, um, if it says may contain, it's just it's just covering for allergies. But if it says contains and it's in bold thing, then you know it's an ingredient. Do you do you have cereal or anything? You don't have oats or cereal? Do you have oats? You go. Is that what you go for? Yeah, go on. Then I because because these these are a bit more expensive than Weetabix might be. These are these are vegan. These are all right. Um, they're they're vegan as well. I think Weetabix are good. Like stuff like this, bran flakes or... But like, I don't know what type of milk we'll get you on because I just wanted you to try some cereal with, so you can try your milk. Oh yeah, here we go. I'll show you what I, this is what I usually get. So, so these are soya. They're 59p, that's a, a price match to Audi. These are, but this is, I don't know if you drink coffee. I'll get this one for coffee. It's expensive, but it's, uh, it lasts, a, it lasts me about a week. Okay. But for like cereal and that and for budgeting, yeah, yeah, I just yeah. this is like 59p. What? Wait, wait. So if you get a litre of dairy milk, how yeah. much is that? That's like 170 odd. Really? 150 odd. So you only, you know, you're only spending 30p more. How about I'm going to grab you one of these anyway. This is a bit sm cheaper. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So why are they better in drinks and that one's better in like... Because for hot, for hot coffees, this doesn't split. Uh... I don't know if you, um... What sauce you would usually get, ah. but you'd probably go on the cheaper end. <laughs> You're not wrong. These are 39p. Okay, that's, is that vegan? Yeah. So, for me, this is more enlightenment to noticing that pretty much any f the food I could have could easily be vegan. And if, just... it, if it says uh, vegetarian on it, sometimes yeah. they just don't label it as vegan. So you just do a quick Google up yeah. and there's usually like a... It sounds like a repeat process for any, like... The thing is, like, once you know what's oh. vegan, you, 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 you're basically set. I don't know if you do mayo. Do you oh, do... I do mayo as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, ketchup's vegan, by the way. Wait, no, that's vegetarian. See, I oh, see, I messed up. Okay, good to know. Vegetarian. Yeah, yeah. Because it's got an egg in there. Yeah, yeah. And eggs macerate chicks. Sorry, when you say that, it's like, yeah, it's like, I don't know, but you say it in such a way, it's like, okay, yep, wake up every time. Uh, yeah, they macerate all the males because they don't produce eggs, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. We've got, uh, oh, here's one. This is 125. Okay. Vegan mayo. I don't, you like mayo, eh? Yes, I do. Let's go through the, down the murder, murder aisle. See how they... Do, where's, the, where's the animal? There is no animal. Where's the animal hanging from the... hanging from their leg with the knife in their throat? And yeah, like nobody sees that. And then nobody you see, see that. Yeah. It's a baby's leg. So how small that is bone. Come off of a slaughtered lamb. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, yeah. Blood. It's yeah. just crazy. So like uh, oh, so, okay, okay, so okay. what's your my, my, what's your process when you go on somewhere like okay. this? I'm, I'm gonna go back to being a meat eater and not emotionally scarred. Um, <laughs> So I would get the 500, the 500 gram, 25 percent fat because I'm cheap like that. Oh, so 20 percent yeah. fat, something like that. That's yeah, what you'd yeah. get. Yeah, the ones that you know, even you know, they might be fat cheap and nasty. Yeah, 149. Yeah. Okay, um, okay. So okay. there's probably multiple animals in that mince because they mince them all up together. So yeah, there's I know, probably I know, I know. probably I, two or three personalities in there. Yeah. Oh, I normally get diced chicken, like the cheap, even cheaper again. But this is. I don't know, I come from a family where you try to save as much money as you can. So did I, yeah, yeah. So it's like, how, how do you get away from the frugality? I guess because of, you know, being, being a human about it. To keep your do, do you notice how like this is all like packaged, cleansed 
disconnected from the animal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you're not even thinking of a slaughterhouse right now. Yeah, yeah. But I look, see. look at look at the sign here. I know, I know. It's like a green part. They don't show you the blood and the the fear and the, the animal. This here is called nutritional yeast. I don't know if you like this. I'm gonna buy it for you anyway. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Because it's like cheesy flakes. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Uh, okay, so wait a second. Here's the vegetarian section. Oh. No, no, okay. Have you, have you taken the sheer amount in? Look how much more there is compared to that. Yeah, I know. That's so, hot as some stuff. places actually a little bit. Um, there's usually two. There's usually two little plant based sections. So we'll, we'll have a look around the corner. Okay. So these Beyond Burgers, okay. they're some of the best oh, vegans, but they're five quid for two. Yeah. yeah. They don't get subsidized by the yeah, okay, meats yeah, yeah. getting subsidized. So the reason that's so cheap is because the, they actually cost way more to produce, but yeah. the, the government just hands out billions worth yeah, of subsidies. Okay, so we'll get you some of this, yeah. but like maybe like, I don't know, if, you, if you're going like with, if, you, if you're going vegan, obviously like, there's more than just price for the motivation as well. Like, you know, I know it's- It's the satisfaction you, that you're not eating a pig. Yeah. <laughs> Like I, I physically can't eat a pig now. Like no. I, I, it'd make me sick. Yeah. I, it's, I'm ethically against it. The gas chambers are disgusting in this, places. So when I saw the when I saw it, you saw me shake and shiver. Like yeah. it's not a fun thing I want to see. Nor so, nor want to so keep like, repeating it. So like, if I had to buy that for three quid, yeah, yeah, and this is a really good one actually, then I'd have like two two bacon sarnies a week instead of one every morning. Okay. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Know I mean? uh, so it's so you're saying it's more of a conscious effort to not even. Just to reduce it down. It's well, well if, I, if, if, if price wasn't a problem for me, then it wouldn't be an issue. But like, if, if price was, then I wouldn't go for the bacon just because I couldn't afford, okay. you know, I'd either eat more beans, eat more rice, eat yeah. more bread, okay. and eat less of this mock meat stuff. Yeah. But this, is, this is for like a transitional food anyway. Like, ah. the, more, the more and more you, you're, you're vegan and you're getting, tr trying all the plant foods, trying ah. all the whole foods, yeah. your palate changes and you're like, you want less of this? Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. what I found anyway, but. No, it's understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we'll grab yeah, you some. I'm gonna get you these just just for a treat, just so you know what they taste like. You're too kind, thank you. Well, okay. So maybe we can do a little, you can try one of these and one of these, see which ones yeah. you like. Yeah, oh, thank you. Bye. How much do you usually spend for a pizza? Uh, in a, uh, one pound. A pound each. And that's 250. Holy moly. Yeah. Like you could get a bunch of pita breads and some, some tomato sauce and just chuck some cheese and some like some mock meat on there. Oh, tofu, okay, sorry. Have you ever had this before? No, never. Never had tofu in my life. So what you do is you scramble it up. Okay. So you grab it and you squish it up in the pan okay. with like onions and peppers like you like. Yeah. Put some of that stock powder yeah. in there, a bit of, bit of like this to make it cheesy. Mm. And you put it on some toast. Okay. With like salt, ketchup. Yeah. So you make your, you're essentially making the scrambled eggs. This is like a... Civil for vegetarians. It's like a piece of someone, hey. This here is a dairy-free section. So this here is one of my favorite. It's a bit, it's a stronger cheese. Yeah, yeah. Like it's so, salty. This is a mild cheese. This is mild. Biolife is like mild mozzarella type of cheese. Okay. Um, this here is like Parmesan that like you sprinkle on your um, pasta. Yeah, yeah. It's like hard, salty. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine against, because I'm fine against my taste buds, but then the, the, the eventual saving. We're like. You know what I mean? It's uh, Yeah, it's like the, your taste buds over the suffering and yeah, cruelty yeah, yeah. and killing of yes, so many yeah, animals you know so yeah well I have to you, we, we need to rem keep reminding ourselves otherwise otherwise we fall into the um, illusion see here pepperoni here. see how they change it into like a little circle and kids just grab that and they don't they don't even know what's in there you know what I mean yeah. most people thought that you cared more than most people I talk to yeah, yeah so, it's like, okay, so I wouldn't suggest that to you like I'm not saying you don't care at all I think you care more than you're coming to the store with me for God's sake <laughs> Point, You're the so. first person who's come to the store with me after a bloody debate. <laughs> what do you um? What do you usually put in your wrap? Uh, rice, fajita seasoning. Oh, I mostly just peppers, onions, mushrooms, and uh, yeah, fajita seasoning. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Then no, you don't really, you don't really do many vegetables. <laughs> I, I would, I'd love to eat. Like, I'd, would you? You start eating? I mean, I mean. Veganism's not about your health anyway, because that's no. just a personal, your health is a personal choice. Oh, oh, you want an advent calendar? Yeah, my birthday's the 18th of December, a week before Christmas. Well, you want... You, I always uh, get uh, one. My mum always gets me one. All right, she mate. Me. I'm gonna be... We're going to have to get you a vegan advent calendar. If you always... This is me being your mum right now. Thank your you. vegan mum. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> What's it? They said, like, look, George, we're okay with you, but you sound like you're a person who needs a heavy protein diet. Of working all the time. Kind you know, protein is probably not the best source for that. 
carbohydrates a better source for, for, for fuel. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, like fruits and gra whole grains, yes, and they all contain yes, yes. protein. Like okay. there's this misconception that plants don't contain <laughs> enough protein. Thank you. Because we, we know a little bit about um, non-vegan um, oh, bathroom okay. stuff as well. Oh wait, really? Is this an actual... Oh. This is a thing too. Yeah, go on, mate. Bang, bang, bang. So you just learned that, that that shampoo was vegan. Yeah, I don't <laughs> make it so they, sometimes they put animal products or they test they do the, the, uh, the, uh, testing. the testing. Yeah. Yeah, these are always a quid. See so vegan, vegan, vegan. Yeah. Hey, biscuits. I don't know what bis biscuits you like. Uh, Oreos are good. Uh, Only the original. Uh, so not these ones with all this stuff on there. Uh, cool. We're smashing it, mate. <laughs> What, a, what, what the best place to go through for in Tesco's for the vegan chocolate the is the free from the free from aisle. Okay. It's called and free from, uh, and they got cookies and they got chocolate and all that sort of stuff in there. Free from endangering animals, free from killing them. For yeah, free from slaughter, yeah. free from exploitation. Oh, I was going to get you some meatballs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some meatballs. These are Linda McCartney's ones. So you got the, you got the the gangster Beyond Burgers in there for a yeah. bit of a treat, oh, so you know what they taste oh, like yeah, and that. You too, oh. And then um, you have got those ones that are a bit cheaper, so you, yeah. so you can trial them out. See what we think. These are the, these chicken style pieces here. See these meat free chicken style pieces. They're cheaper than the um than the corn ones, mm. and you get more. Mm. So it's one seventy five for three hundred grams. Okay. Yeah, it stays longer. Nice. It's just not. You don't have to worry about. Poison, the only time you get poison is if it's cross-contaminated with animals. Yeah. Oh, dead bird in a body bag here. This is gonna be pricey. Okay. This is gonna be pricey because it's not a normal shop. We're just, no, no, no. we're splashing out. Like what I would say, suggest yeah. like is increasing, you know, your, your fruits, vegetables and grains and beans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then get, get like, okay, you got some burgers there. You know, get a packet of cheese a week. That chicken there was uh, 179 and then just try to like, blend in these things yeah, yeah, with what you usually get. Like this brand here, Tesco, has got their own mints. Oh, ah, it's, they're out. It's all quid 75, it's probably around, it's probably competitive with the other mints you get, but yeah. I love this mints, I put it on everything. Mm. We're gonna flash it up on the screen anyway, yeah. that mints. Tesco's mints is really good. This is a free from section, this is where, this, this is where the naughty stuff is, but uh, this is uh, like Nutella, Ooh. vegan Nutella. Do so you wanna go a bit of crack? Yeah, yeah, I just. It's just, it's just naughty. It's naughty, but we're, we're going to look after you, mate. We're, we're, yeah. Beans are all good. All of this, basically, all this stuff here, unless it's got the cheese in it. If you ever want, like, to make something no, creamy, coconut milk is okay. vegan as well. Oh, and these sauces here, like, um, oh, wait a second. Sriracha and this sriracha mayo. Oh, is that vegan? This is vegan, yeah. Oh, See? Uh, soy sauce is vegan, obviously. Silken tofu, you can blend this. This is soft tofu. You can blend oh. this up and make a little dessert with it if you put some chocolate. If you put that, you'd be so surprised. If you, if you mix that okay. with that in a blender, you uh, could make chocolate custard with it. Right. Full of protein, calcium, really good for your two tofus. Uh, so he's coming out of a hen's cloaca. Uh, and a cloaca, <laughs> do you know what cloaca is? It's, it's, a, it's a butthole, a vagina, and where she wheezes and poos out of, like all out of the same so, hole, and that's where the egg comes so out of. So she's an animal aphrodite then? It's just like all the all the, everything comes out of the same hole. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, like lentils, man. These red lentils they cook up pretty quick. You can make a curry with them. Okay. So onions, peppers, uh, potatoes. The lentils are super high protein, super high fiber, okay. super nutrient dense, especially these red ones. Okay. So that's how to do it super cheap. Okay. Like if you really wanted to be vegan on the cheapest rice, rice, yeah. beans, legumes, fruits, vegetables, whole grains, a little bit of this stuff. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, and you can stretch out your budget even cheaper. Or if you just ate Beyond Burgers every night and like rashes of this bacon and stuff. No, it's not. But then you can make it cheaper with these. Yeah, well, these yeah, were yeah. these were a couple of quid. Yeah. So it just depends on like you just you can make it as cheap or as expensive as you want, basically. Oh, yeah. Cheap piece. You can blend them up, make hummus out of them, eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you need to zap these. Oops. Hundred. Hey, I was right. Hey, all, go all, all going to supply. You know what? This is feeding the demand for vegan food, for ethical food. So it all goes to a good cause.
All right, let's have a look here. You rolling? Okay. All right, so this is what we got George for 100 quid. Um, now, George is on a bit of a budget, so obviously like what you would tend to do if you're on a more of a budget is you would increase your starches, you'd increase your beans, you'd increase your fruits and vegetables and your rices and things like that. And you'd decrease these things here, you, you know, Beyond Burgers, Beyond Burgers and that, they're the most expensive burgers, vegan burgers you can get. Um, but you know, we, we can you can get cheaper, cheaper burgers as well. I'm dropping everything everywhere. But you know, stuff like this, a bit more expensive, so you'd, you'd go less on that. George is trying to, I'm con trying, con to look after trying to contain my, um, but you know, like you can make, basically what you do is you'd be more top heavy on the whole foods and more bottom light on the um, the meat alternatives. But if we thought we'd treat George because George being a good sport and he's, he, he's really interested in trying to make some ethical decisions. So we thought we'd give him a bit of a selection to choose from here. But I reckon um, what we should do is cut open some of the cheeses so you can test them out, see which ones you like. Um, maybe even, um, I don't know, you want to fry up some bacon or, or do you want to do you want to cook up some meatballs or something? Well, it's lunchtime, let's have a bacon sarnie, shall we? Okay, yeah, that sounds nice. Smells like... That's just... That's smoky bacon. I'm getting that golden, golden sizzle on that. Well, I was going to say, what, what, what bread are you going to use? So I'm using white bread. We're going. We're doing traditional British shiny. British bacon sarnie. Yeah. But then you just think about these gas chambers and all that and the pigs and that and like, in, yeah, yeah. you know, that's, that's that horrible feeling that, because that's the part that likes to escape our minds. I find, it's in the forefront of my mind a lot because I do this for my job. Yeah. But like, this is the part that sometimes we get exposed to it and then we tuck it away and then we go back to seeing the packets and not yeah. seeing the animal. And So it's more of, it's okay to feel stupid. It's okay to feel stupid when it comes to your first vegan trial, you know. Of course, like, ah, well, yeah. I mean, I'm like long-term vegans and know know all about this stuff because it's been years. But oh, like, yeah, it, 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 yeah, but I guess I love to beat my. You, you, all you know is like when you seen what was going on to the animals, you knew that was wrong. So that's yeah. your starting point. Okay, that you feel like that was wrong, and you know you expressed very honestly like how you felt about that, and you're like, look, this is horrible. I don't want to be a part of this, and all of those things. But like. Yeah. Now, from this point onwards, you're sort of like, okay, how do I align my lifestyle with yeah. how I felt there? You're right. And you're not going to be perfect at the start, you know, you're going to be like, you, <laughs> you don't like overwhelm yourself. Like, I wasn't a perfect vegan at the start. I was, yeah. you know, if I found out about something like, I was like, oh God, that I didn't check the, pack, the back of that packet properly. I've just eaten half of it. Okay. I, I'll do better next time, you know, yeah, like, yeah, like yeah. I was just... Especially the first year, I was trying to work things out, and I got to check clothing. And okay. there's this wool. Is there wool in these? Jump before I bought clothing, I made sure it's just oh, cotton or synthetic. And that's. Oh, no, we're nearly done there. Give that a more seconds. You're just chilling. You're at home. You're making a bacon sunny. Like right. you just get a rock and roll. There we go. See, he gets a bit of ketchup on there. He doesn't mess around. Nah, there we go. Bon appetit. Yeah, very much. Yeah. Sorry, it just uses like. Yeah. This one melts really good. The um Yeah, this Biolife melts really good like a mozzarella. This one here is more of a bitey mm. mature sort of cheddar that more for a sandwich or something like that. It's got like a nice or or just for eating, like if oh. you wanted to eat cheese. That is fantastic. Mm. Well what we need to do. Um, yeah. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just enjoying it. Oh, I feel like a proud vegan educator here. George on his first vegan bacon sandwich. I just want to eat sauce, to be honest. I'm like, oh, me, I'm going to eat sauce. I'm not wasting food. <laughs> well, it's cool that you can, you know, you can have bacon sandwich if you want. You can go healthy if you want, healthier if you want, you know. But more I want. And um, like, yeah, I, I think your body will, will thank you as well. Like, mm -hmm. like if you have more fruits and vegetables and, um, you know, more whole grains and less of the, um, 
little bit less of the cheese in the meat, mm -hmm. even if it's vegan. Like, I mean, it's got it's got no cholesterol in this, by the way. Oh, but there is saturated fat, and you know, no, things like this. It's, it's, it still raises your cholesterol, but yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but much less than actual meat does, and those sausages and pig's bodies and all those. Jolt free. Yeah, and there's you're not eating someone. No, you're not eating someone, right? You're eating plants. Let's yeah. so the bacon, fantastic. Um, which one would you choose? Would you go this isn't or the naked, the, hmm. the, which one was this? Let me try. Naked without the wink. And this isn't, they also do this isn't chicken. Oh. Um, there you go. We're not sponsored by any of these products, by the way. We just, okay. they're in the supermarket and we just, yeah. Okay. We, so for me, for somebody, yeah, okay. So that one says unsmoked. I'm more of an unsmoked fan. So okay. I would more like go for this one more often. But just for the pure like, more bacony like texture in that. yeah that's this that's one's got the more meaty t yeah that's what i felt as well yeah. i like this because i like I'm, I'm pretty not fussy with the vegan meats but this one here they got they got it really close texture wise and smoky yeah. wise for me as well no, yeah i'm not me if you give me like as i said thank you for both um yeah so you're not like that far you're not that fussy when it comes no, to no, yeah. I need both. This is what I mean, yeah okay so we go guys no gas chambers no farrowing crates no sentient being. And it still tastes pretty good. So we got you got a bunch of food to try anyway, yes. mate. All right, and I, I just wanted to say to you, thank you for your honesty. Yes. Your good conversation. It's such a good conversation yeah. on my channel, man. I'm so happy to have it on there. You did. You, you really. Uh, a lot of the audience just loved your honesty and. And um, yeah, we need more people in the world like you, mate. Thank you. So. Well, it's been an absolute honour to go shopping with you. And come on, bring it in. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. Well, uh, we, we we really hope that your 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 new journey goes really well, well and that you you know because I, I feel like you are so against animal cruelty, like you really expressed it so passionately, and you're like, oh, I can't, yeah. can't. But it's just like you needed to know a little bit. You needed a bit yeah. of guidance, a little bit of help. And um, I hope this, this video actually helps a bunch of other people that might need some guidance too. If anybody, yeah, if anybody is struggling, I do recommend them to just go to a supermarket um, because you'll see in the footage it's going to be cut down. Um, we did spend about two hours, but in those two hours we were chit-chatting away. But for me, uh, I noticed significantly how short, how small the aisles are. So for you, it'd be easy peasy just to nip to those aisles and just have a look and just enjoy, just enjoy the fact that you don't have to see a dead pig or a dead animal or you don't have to replace it as that. It's very yeah. much of knowing that, you know, it's better. But I know some people with money constraints and, you know, don't want to really switch up their lifestyle like some most people can. Uh, or I mean, not most people can switch up their lifestyle. So I recommend you just Try to give it you know, a week or two weeks. I'm going to give it as good as I can because I feel so much better. Yeah. And you don't have to have that on your conscience either and like like I said like what we yeah, got what we got George here was like we, we we sort of splashed out for him a little bit here like we got him a bit more of an expensive shop we wanted him to try all the different things because he's you know new to everything but you can really do this on a, on a really nuts and bolts budget if you really wanted to rice beans uh, chickpeas vegetables a little bit of a uh, you know this was a pound you know, a little bit of almond milk for a pound. Uh, some some oats. Oats are like a pound a packet, really cheap. You know, some dried fruit in there. A little bit of frozen fruits and vegetables. You could do this super cheap if you really had to. Um, but we thought we'd give him a little bit of a range and a selection to choose from, and then he can sort of try to design a budget off of off the back of this stuff. And um, we, I really hope that you watch yeah. Dominion as well. Uh, uh, if you can sit through Dominion, oh, well. it's really educational and okay. it's, it's got a lot to. I think uh, that might give you that that final. Nudge. A little nudge in the right direction. And the environment thing too yeah. is, like, I don't know if you've seen Cowspiracy. No, I haven't. Okay, Cowspiracy and Dominion, okay. Yeah, because you seem like you, you were interested in the environment as well. I like. was, yeah, I uh, still am. It's just more of just understanding, uh, yeah, just, yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah, I think it's, I think we, I think you said it best was not to forget the slaughtering and more of just not allowing, you know, not letting mm. that because you go like, okay, inconvenience, yeah. uh, knife in the animal's throat, yeah. they're terrified in a slaughterhouse. Okay, uh, this is 50p more, 50p more. Oh, uh, cow being, you know, forcibly impregnated, had their calves taken away, calves killed, cow slaughtered, turned into leather and beef and all of these things that a sentient being doesn't want to go through. So you kind of like sort of weigh it up, okay, maybe I can 
put a little bit more starch in here, a little bit less of this or something like that. I don't know. Me, I'm super motivated. You yeah. wouldn't like no matter what situation I'm in, I've been riding my bike across Adelaide Desert, oh. you know, in Australia and like I'll just find some beans and get some beans and bread and some, you know, like some soy milk and some cereal and I'll sit there and eat a little plastic. So like no matter what situation I've been in, I've always found something to sustain yeah. myself. So, yeah. but I'm extremely motivated. So like, if, like, like I wouldn't buy any thing to do with like say child pornography or something, some, something horrific to do with like some horrible, I, I would avoid it. I would avoid it. Thanks George. Thanks Thomas. for coming on mate. Thank you. All right, let's go. <laughs> let's find our next, Let's find our next uh, new vegan. <laughs>